Hey everyone, so I'm gonna go over Bitcoin today because we are at a critical moment in time where we are in this middle of this low volume consolidation range where we are likely to get a direction and a decision in the market because we've had CPI numbers come out today, which is uh, putting a bit more pressure on the markets, but also we've got some contracts expiring in June uh, some options contracts, which are the largest to date. Okay, so that's going to have an impact on the market. And we've got our Federal Reserve meeting as well around the 16th and 17th. So I expect a decision from the consolidation range that we are in over here, okay, to uh, come to a resolution, you know, um, pretty soon. And I'd say by the end of next week at the latest. And what you can see as well, I've just marked out here, if you can see these yellow circles, okay, around the 10th of each month, um, what sort of price direction we got with the CPI, okay, um, releasing around the 10th of each month. And you can see that it largely sort of, you know, determine the direction uh, of the trend for the next two or three weeks, okay. Uh, and you can see that over here, um, every time we basically get a swing in price in one direction with the CPIs, we tend to sort of revert to the opposite direction, at least for the next week or so, okay, and try to get some consolidation because, um, you know, over here, I wouldn't be surprised that because we're in this choppy consolidation range that we might actually dip down into this $26,000, $27,000 area, okay, uh, and then, you know, potentially uh, create some sort of uh, fear and panic and then maybe move back to the upside, okay, but I am trying to stay objective here and uh, trade the charts and what is in front of us and I do think that the most likely scenario is still going to be trading the indicators and staying objective and moving up towards that 20 um, to so this the, the, the 200 day moving average we get which again is coming in hot at the moment at exactly at about forty thousand dollars but um, is likely going to be coiling down uh, around that 20th of June to about 38 39 but we don't necessarily have to reach it we might get pretty close okay so um, just try to let the market um, help you you know decipher what direction you're going to go in i am still cautiously bullish okay because i think that when we do make these massive drops okay of about 45 50 percent from that 200 day moving average it's typically still a really good time to be buying and you typically get some sort of consolidation before another move but any move that we do get to the upside i would still treat this as a bear market rally and is probably going to be some sort of deviation okay in price over here um, where we get some sort of continuation of the overall trend. But it is going to be uh, a choppy environment, in my opinion, and volatility is probably going to catch out a lot of investors. Um, and, uh, you know, everyone is a little bit, um, you know, pessimistic at the minute and the mood is really, really down. I think everyone is pretty much priced in the bear market at the minute. I think pretty much every YouTuber out there has pretty much capitulated um, in the sense of the sentiment of what is going on. So I think they all believe that they're, we're in a bear market. So when everyone believes one thing, we do tend to get some sort of reversion to the mean or some sort of, um, you know, um, change in direction, okay, from, 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 from the herd. So that's why I'm still expecting a little bit more upside here to kind of catch people out. And we know that we have our CME gap over here at about $36,000. So, you know, we have multiple confluent reasons for us to attack this region. But as we're in a bear market and sentiment, um, you know, can be, you know, really, really bad at the minute, um, you know, don't expect us to uh, necessarily go up there as a given and that, you know, if we start to move uh, down here and challenge some of these lows, okay, at about 26,000, um, then we are probably going to, uh, you know, likely take out 25,000, uh, you know, if not now, then I think definitely later on in the year. So um, yeah, let's just basically just keep an eye that if we break 32, thousand dollars i think that we go up to thirty seven thirty six thousand dollars at which point i would expect the sellers to step in and i would expect that to occur by the end of next week because if we just um get rid of some of these arrows and stuff over here what have we got if we take a look at the volume okay we're in a consolidation range we know that consolidation precedes expansion so we're in this tight range of price and you can see that volume 
is overall declining. So that basically means that the market is waiting for a decision. And you have to think as well, what is the direction that is most easiest to um, you know, make money in terms of price, especially when uh, when when the price of Bitcoin and and a lot of the other assets have already fallen. You know, I think that going short again from here uh, is not a good idea. Even if it does fall, I just lose it as a, use it as a buying opportunity. Okay, but um, you know, I think the easiest you know you know when it becomes too easy to make money in one direction, that is something to bear in mind, right? Um, that uh, you know you typically get some sort of reversion back to the mean, okay? Uh, and I still think, like I said, that that is gonna be somewhere around this 37,000 mark, but um, I'm you know, trying to be flexible with the market. And if we start to break down from these key levels, I will probably lighten up some positions that I've got because that is giving me signals that we potentially want to move lower sooner. So these are really prime examples where you can get caught out and you can see again that where are we in terms of the 21 weekly moving average. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we're somewhere over here than the last bear market where we were around June and we made actually one massive pump above the 21 EMA. Maybe we get something similar again. Where is that price coming in at? $37,000. So, you know, definitely the area that we want to be looking out for, but let's try to look at that time um, that time horizon of about next week and when the volume starts to pick up. If we take a look at some of the macroeconomic indicators as well, the DXY is currently trying to retest and claim a new high of about $105 to break the high that we got in the middle of May, um, currently looking very strong, and obviously this is going to put pressure on BTC uh, and a lot of the other equity markets. But if we somehow deviate from this high and the DXY doesn't want to continue going higher just yet, okay, we do have you know uh, that order block down below us, which we're looking at um, over here at about $99, uh, $98. And if we start to tap into this and we get that confluence with the price that BTC starts to reach, so $36,000, $37,000, maybe even $40,000, then like I said, I would look for the dollar to start getting support around these regions um, and for uh, a lot of the other markets to uh, start to see um, a little bit more downside action from whatever levels they are at. So the way to play this, in my opinion, is if you want to play the slightly longer uh, positions on swing trading, okay, what I'd be looking to do is get some sort of support at about that 200 week at moving average, okay, should we break down from 25,000, especially if it's a quick one, we might even get a few wicks below it, that's the potential worst case scenario for me, um, you know, maybe leading up into the next month or so, but I still think that we're, you know, potentially going to move higher, um, and if we do move higher, then, you know, look for potential shorting opportunities or sellers to step in at that $37,000 range, okay, where that 200 moving uh, 200 day moving average and the 21 week EMA is going to be and then if you want to play something a little bit more risky or shorter term which would not be something that I'm personally looking at you've obviously got this trading range that you can um, you know either take some sort of uh, potential move that if we break 32 we're going to move straight higher okay um, and if we break um, you know, 27, then we're going to go lower, okay, and just, just trade the direction which, which the market wants to go at. Um, or you can also, you know, even buy um, towards the bottom of this trading range and, you know, short towards the top of this trading range and just basically trade, trade the ranges, but just stay objective with what you're doing. I'm trying to take the least uh, risky situation in this um in this moment, because I do think that a lot of the volatility is going to, you know, probably get people stopped out of positions and chop people up um, quite a lot. So um, that's how I would be looking at the market. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, you know what to do. Like the video down below, subscribe to the channel, keep up to date and let me know down below as well what you want me to cover in terms of coins. Do you want me to cover more altcoins? Do you want me to cover more Bitcoin? Um, other than that, I'll catch you lot in the next one.